what we're going to do now is we're going to create the sound in the call that we're going to use for actually creating the low bass sound of our honks, our clucks, and even our murmurs. Now to get this low sound, what you want to do is we're going to use our voice. One of the biggest misconceptions too that a lot of guys get is, and I, you know, I was guilty of it too, is I used to grunt into a short read. That you don't want to grunt into a short read. The reason for this is because we have no way of controlling how we grunt. Um, grunting is not a natural bodily function for human beings. So instead of grunting into the call, since it's not natural for us to grunt, um, we're going to use our voice because our voice is very natural for us. You know, we use our voice every day. So since we use our voice every day, we know how to control our voice. And we know how to control the amount of air that we expel out while using our voice. So using our voice and our larynx um, only makes sense to operate the call because then it's going to give us more control over the call. What we want to do is say the word woo or do as deep as you can. Or do, do, but it's that low voice is what we're looking for. A lot of vibration, but clean vibration. We don't want to grunt. We don't want to go because that's very coarse and very distorted sound, and we don't know how to control it because we don't go around grunting back and forth at each other every day. But we do use our voice every day. So let's practice getting the low, deep sound with just our voice. And that is a clean sound that's going to give us a deep sound into this goose call. To practice this larynx sound, we're going to practice it blowing into the call, but we're going to blow into the back end of the call. I love blowing into the back end of a, of a goose call because there's no way we're going to get any sound out of it. And what this allows us to do is allows us to focus on our mechanics because a lot of times when guys are trying to practice into a call, they're more worried about what's coming out of the call versus what's going into the call. And if we're not correct on the, what we're putting into the call, it's not going to sound right anyway. So let's turn the call around backwards so that way we're practicing you know, our hand position, our mouth placement, and let's put that low, deep sound into the call. But remember, if you have the bad habit of grunting, you want to get away from that and just use your voice. So I'm going to use my voice. And I'm putting my voice into the call. Just a clean, deep sound. Now what we want to do now is we're going to turn the call around and we're going to do this end of the call. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do like what we did the first time. We want to put a low deep sound into this call but don't let the call make a sound. I know it sounds crazy but just bear with me because again we're practicing air control. If we can put air into the call and not let the call make a sound, that's the first step of air, air control because we know um, what it takes to not operate the call and then as we move forward we're going to learn what it takes to operate the call and this is going to help down the road with more advanced sounds. So let's take a deep breath and we're going to do one full breath into the call making the deep sound but don't let the call make a sound. It'll sound like this. One full sound. Now as we practice that, make sure you're very conscious of your hand placement, your mouth placement, tongue behind your bottom teeth. How's your mouth placement on the call? Because remember, we want to remain consistent in everything we do. So while we're practicing that, let's stay conscious of everything we're doing. Let's do it one more time and then we'll move forward. Good. All right, now we're going to make goose sound. About time, right? I know. <laughs> 